everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to unroot your Sprint HTC Evo 4G LTE. Um, it kind of depends on the way that you rooted. Um, if you just rooted and you didn't unlock your bootloader, then uh, you can just kind of follow this video and you'll be good. You'll you'll notice if you did uh, just root your phone, your bootloader will say tampered, but this will get rid of it and it will just say locked. But if you unlocked it which with uh, HTC Dev Unlock uh, tool, then um, you'll need to relock your bootloader first. Um, I'll have videos on how to do so, how to relock your bootloader. Um, so you'll need to relock your bootloader first and then run this RUU. Uh, the reason being because you're going to want to have it relocked, even though your bootloader will say relocked. Um, if it does say relock, you should still be able to take it back to Sprint though. It just voids your, if you unlock with HTC Dev, it will just void your warranty with HTC. You should still be able to take it back to Sprint though. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. So first of all, to unroot your device, I'm just rooted. I haven't unlocked my bootloader yet. As you can see, I have Super SU right there going on. Um, uh, before you do do this though, I highly recommend clearing out your Google Wallet uh, settings. So go to Wallet. Up at the top, you'll want to say, um, press that menu button up at the top and then hit settings and then hit clear Google Wallet settings. If you want to see me do it in action, I will link to a video in the description. I have a video explaining why you need to do it as well every time you do a factory reset as running this uh, will factory reset your device. It's gonna erase all your contacts, your apps. I don't believe it erases your internal storage. If it does, I'll make an annotation now actually, uh, right somewhere around here, uh, letting you know if it does or not. But let's go ahead and jump into it. So first of all, you're gonna wanna go into your settings, scroll down, go to developer options, and make sure it's USB debugging is checked up at the top. So um, the reason you're doing this if you're rooted is if you wanna just go back to stock or take it back to Sprint for any reason, etc. If you're only rooted, you could return it to HTC as well because it didn't void your warranty, only unlocking your bootloader does with HTC. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So once you have it uh, USB debugging on, you can plug in your device um, I'm assuming if you're rooted you have the drivers installed on your PC. If you don't, I will link to, in the description of the video to those drivers. Um, have it charge only and hit done. Before you plug in your, P your phone, then if you don't have the drivers installed, go ahead and install those drivers and then plug in your phone. So once you have your phone plugged in, go ahead and click on the next link in the description of the video. It will take you to this site, as you can see right here. It says uh, Jewel Shipped ROM Collection. Jewel would be another uh, name for the Evo LTE. But anyways, I do want to give a shout out and thanks to Football. Big thanks to XDA member Football here for uh, getting this going for us. So click on this link, this file factory link right here. It will take us to the website. You will see two um, two files here. Right at the moment, you could see more in the future, but. At the moment, you'll see these, uh, basically these numbers right here, you get a bit of an ad. You'll see that there's numbers after these. You'll see RUU, Jewel, uh, Sprint, WWE, and then you'll see these numbers right here. Basically, what you can do is actually check on your phone. You can go to settings, and under settings, you'll see that uh, you can go down to about, and under about, you will see, let me go ahead and zoom in, you'll see software information in about. Um, once you see software information, you will uh, be able to tell, you'll see software version right here. And under software version, it gives you those numbers. So you'll see mine's 113.6511 um, right there. So you'll see on your PC that there's actually an option for 113.651 right there. So I'll know I need to use that one. Um, that would be the latest as of today, June 4th. So you'll see that this is the latest. Latest. Go ahead and click on it and download it right here. So click on whatever the latest one is or whatever one your phone is on and download it. It will take a bit of time as it is 585 meg. It's a huge file. So go ahead and download that. Um, once you're done downloading it, go into your downloads folder. You will see it. It will look like this right here. Um, this RUU right here. So what you can do is actually right click on it and hit run as administrator. That's what I recommend doing. Let it load on up. Should ask for user account control. Um, it looks like it's taking a, its time loading up. But as I said, make sure your phone is plugged in with USB debugging enabled um, and charge only. So you'll see this, hit yes. Uh, once you hit yes, it should load on up. It'll load up like it's installing something. You'll see RUU set up. Uh, going on right here. So 
Here would be our RUU setup file. Our phone's just sitting there on, plugged in, of course. Okay, so here we go. Here is our RUU, the ROM update utility right here. So um, again, this is gonna wipe all your all your uh, data. I don't think internal storage at the moment, but as I said, I left an annotation back um, in the beginning letting you know if it did or not. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So uh, basically it says caution, installing will delete all information and data on your phone. Um, so let's go ahead and check this box. It says I understand the caution indicated. Uh, make sure you don't unplug it during this. Obviously it'll update your phone back to complete stock. It shouldn't say tampered in the bootloader anymore as well. So let's go ahead and hit next. After you hit understand, turn on your Android phone, connect it to PC, disable standby and hibernation modes on your PC. Make sure battery is more than 30% as well. Uh, once you've completed the steps, hit the check button. Go ahead and hit next. It'll go ahead and verify information on your Android phone. Um, again, this, this actually does take a long time, so make sure you have a, a long time again. I mean, this could take up to 20 minutes. I remember back on uh, the 3D and the Evo 4G, it does take forever. So it says current information. This actually lets you know what your current uh, image version is, so you'll know that you got the right one, of course. And then you hit the update button, and then it should run through and put your phone completely back to stock, actually. So it says from this image version to this one, same thing. Go ahead and hit next. Um, and then it says this update will take approximately 10 minutes. So we got about 10 minutes, so you got to be patient with it. Um, and we will hit next, and there we go. So it's checking, uh, updating the ROM image. It should reboot my device into the bootloader, and once into the bootloader, up at the top, it should say tampered, actually, since when you just root it, not unlock it, it should say tampered. Um, if you have unlocked it, it should say relocked, because you should relock before you do uh, run this uh, ROM update utility. So you'll see it looks like it's stuck on this HTC screen. I don't know. I guess it's not going to go into the normal bootloader. It's just going to sit on this HTC screen. So it says waiting for bootloader still. So we'll see. It says uh, it actually installed some drivers on my PC. So again, make sure you do have those drivers installed. Um, but now it says updating the ROM image on your Android phone. It's sending it. So it looks like uh, it's just going to sit on this HTC screen. I'm not sure if it's going to change at all, but it says sending. Again, this is going to take 10 minutes, about 10 minutes. Of course, it could be less, could be a little more. So you're definitely going to have to wait a while for this to run through. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it run through. If any changes are made, I'll go ahead and be back. But otherwise, you're going to have to just wait 10 minutes to make sure you don't unplug your phone, make sure your PC doesn't die, go into standby mode, etc. So I'll be back. I do want to make a quick note that my phone did kind of shut off and then reboot back to the HTC screen. So if your phone does shut off during this process, do not be alarmed. Just kind of wanted to let you guys know that. All right, just a heads up. Looks like you'll also see a progress bar uh, eventually under one of these screens. Again, I've been waiting a little while and it finally showed up. So it looks like it's doing its thing, updating system recovery, etc. So let it do its thing some more. I'll be back. All right, as you can see, it says congratulations, your ROM has been completed. It took us into the bootloader, and up at the top it says locked now. It did say tampered, of course, when I was just rooted, but now it just says locked up at the top, as you, as you can see right there. So we are ready to go back to stock. Of course, if you have unlocked your bootloader, then it should say relocked up there, but mine just says locked at the moment. It will soon say relocked if I do this again. But you can just hit finish to finish the, uh, the utility, and it looks like it's sticking us in the bootloader. I don't know exactly why, um, but if it does so, let's go ahead and reboot it. All right, so if you're in the bootloader, it puts you in the bootloader here. All you have to do is press the volume down button once. It'll highlight reboot, then press the power button to select it, and then it should automatically reboot your HTC Evo 4G LTE, and once it does, you should be completely back to stock. Your bootloader should say locked or relocked, of course, depending on um, whether you have uh, unlocked your bootloader or not and uh, as you can see it reboots once it boots up it should take you to the HTC startup screen let's go ahead and let it do so and I will be back all right as you can see the phone's loading up you can actually unplug it once the RUU is done you can unplug it obviously so looks like it is done it takes us to the uh, the sync screen the start screen we're gonna have to go through all of these different menus and such no need to do so um, hit OK next Agree, agree. Let's go ahead and run through all these. Just, I just want to show you that there's no uh, super user, super SU in my app drawer anymore, or 
um, and we're just completely back to stock of course so to load on up of course looks like everything's back to stock it's running the sense uh, let's just go to settings real quick and about and it should still say that same software version. So you'll see that software version right there is 1.13651. So we still have that software version, of course. Um, it did do a factory reset, of, as I said. So let's go ahead and go to our app drawer. And you will not see anything in regards to Super SU. So you'd see it like in here, and you don't see it. So uh, there you have it there. Let's go to music. I should have a couple songs on here, I believe, and I do. So it doesn't wipe your internal storage, or it shouldn't wipe your external SD card either. So I've got, again, I'll make that note. So I mean, that's nothing new to you. You'll already know that. You'll know that before I did. Um, but yeah, so there we have it. That would be how to unroot your HTC Evo 4G LTE from Sprint. If you do have any questions, run into any problems at all, just leave a comment. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me as well. I'll be doing many future videos, so be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.